Hey guys, welcome back to another quick and easy tutorial. And for today, I'm going to be showing you how to add audio to each slide in your video presentation using Canva. So as usual, first things first, let's get started with Canva. So to start things off, let's start with a simple business presentation. So either have a presentation ready or feel free to choose a template presentation like the one here. Now to convert this from a regular presentation to a video presentation, go ahead and click on grid view to see all the pages of this presentation. What you want to do is to drag your cursor over all these pages, then press Ctrl C or Command C for Mac to copy all these pages. Then what you want to do is go back to the Canva homepage, choose videos, and then make a new blank video. Now, while you have all the pages of the presentation copied, go ahead and press Ctrl V or Command V to copy those pages into the video editor. As you can see, it really is quite seamless in order to turn your regular PowerPoint presentation into a nice and seamless video presentation. Now in the Canva video editor, on the left hand side, you can click on uploads and you can even upload any audio track you wish to add to your Canva video presentation. If you don't really have an audio track ready to go, you can also click on audio on the left hand side and see a list of all these copyright free music that you can add to your video. As you can see, once you click on an audio file from the list shown here, it'll automatically add it underneath all the slides in your video presentation. For now, let's delete these files. And remember, if you want to add your own tracks, go back to uploads and you'll see it here under audio. As you can see, I've already uploaded two audio files to use for the purposes of this tutorial video. So I'm going to click on this audio file, and as you can see, it's now placed underneath all the different pages of my video presentation. From the video editor below, I can adjust the zoom ratio, the position of the audio file in relation to the video tracks, and even crop it just so that I need a small portion of said audio file. For now, follow along to resize this video to make it match the 5 seconds of the page above it. Once you're happy with how you've cropped the audio file to the page, on the upper part of the screen you can see audio effects. From this list you can change the fade in and fade out effect of the audio file for the video presentation. One cool feature that's only available to Canva Pro though is the beat sync feature. This allows you to automatically sync all pages and elements to the music that you choose for your video presentation. For now though, let's just edit the volume and do some basic editing with this audio file. Let's also adjust which part of the audio file we want to sync with the 5 second page of this video presentation. Now that I'm happy with how I incorporated the first audio track to the presentation, Let's go ahead and add the second audio track. I'm going to be following the same steps I did for the first audio track, which is repositioning the file, cropping it so that it matches the page, and choosing the specific portion of the audio track I want to be shown in the presentation. Once I'm happy with all these edits, I can click on the play button on the left side to see a sample of how my video presentation will look and sound like. Let me do some quit modifying over here and some small fine tuning. And there we go. I am now happy with how these two audio files are in relation to the video presentation. Now, just keep following along. And as you can see, you can choose from any of the royalty free music that Canva offers from its list of audio files on the left hand side. There really is a lot that goes into audio editing and mixing, especially with timing, 
with these video presentations. As you can see, it really does take some time to really get a hang of mixing and clipping all these audio files. What's great about Canva is that it's such a user-friendly experience in terms of editing anything from videos to photos to even some audio clips. Also note that Canva automatically saves all changes done during its editing programs. The catch is that it does require a stable interconnection to actually even access all these Canva editing software programs. Now, once I'm happy with all the changes and editing I've done for this video presentation, on the upper right corner, let's click on Share. And then click on Download in order to download a copy of this video. For this one, I'm going to be choosing the MP4 file type have it in 1080p, and make sure all pages are selected. And that's really all there is to it. You now know how to add audio clips and even upload them and add them to a Canva video presentation. If you have any other comments or suggestions for us, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. Please like this video if you learned something new and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Thanks so much for watching guys, happy editing, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.